So we are here demanding that the University of Toronto divest from Israeli apartheid um, and end its complicity in this ongoing genocide and occupation of Palestine. Um, and we've already had an ongoing conversation with the president. So um, we met with Mer President Merrick Gertler following our two-day occupation um, of his office. Um, and student representatives from our team had communicated with them and you know wanted to go into that meeting with good faith. But ultimately, uh, they were met with absolute non-answers and no sort of real um, ongoing conversations or or any sort of continuation of any anything. The University of Toronto has divested before. They divested from South African apartheid in 1988. They divested from fossil fuels in 2021. Uh, they have an ethical investments policy. So really all we're asking is for them to adhere to that policy, uh, which is a pretty, you know, a pretty easy ask, honestly. And if they want this encampment cleared, they, that's what they could do. They could make a commitment to divest. I think the fence has been very useful because we have gotten a lot of threats from outside groups. Yes, currently this is helping us. In, in a way, but we don't want to have a fence. The whole idea we had before was that we wanted to this to be an open space for community. U of T is the Canadian school. People, you know, I, I, people say it's like the Harvard of the North. Like if that's what it's supposed to be, and it's supposed to be the beacon of Canadian academia, U of T should be held accountable for their immoral actions. I think every single Torontonian, every single Canadian has a vested interest in that.